Right, what have we been up to this week? We've been up to a lot other than wearing Christmas jumpers. We've done some of the dash cam videos with the new Obey console loom and we've done those now for the Defender and we've done it for the Sport L404. We will get on to the Evoke and the L405 in the next week or so, time permitting, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, those of you getting dash cams for Christmas, what other new goodies have we got? Choo -choo -choo. We're trying to do more non-new Defender stuff. But all you Speaking of which. Speaking of which, here's a new Defender <laughs> thing. So these are a fuel cap cover. We've got them in silver and blue. Let's have a look at them all. And red, so that you can do, and we do these for the diesel and the petrol. These ones are for the petrol and they come with a little sticker, apparently. I haven't fit, we've got to fit one of these. Did we do the sticker that said gas for those people, for our American friends? I don't think we did, look. Gasoline. We've only got a petrol one. Look, they can be all English, look. Yeah. They can be all quaint True. English. And then I think this, there you go, we can stick that in there. Well, and then we can go and upgrade. Let's go and up. We're, we're running we're late today, aren't we, Tyler? Yeah, because we've still got to do this. What are we going to do? We, we just cleaned Tyler. I say we. Tyler's just cleared the workshop and we're going to give it a paint. So, Friday afternoon, paint the workshop floor because it's that's like two years old now and it's getting a bit. We've still got a move the workshop, but that's another. That's all delaying us, isn't it? <laughs> Too many pies. Too many things going on. So there we go, so that is apparently, before you get all sticky, try it on there, there you go. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to do the old OCD thing of leaving it in that <laughs> orientation. Right then, get the old alcohol wipe. Clean that. Gonna no, is is this the official fitting video or are we gonna do? <laughs> we might, I don't, know, is it, I don't know if we can get a whole fitting video out of sticking a bit of, st we, we, we can milk a video for anything, yeah. can't we? Give me a 20 minute video. How's the light looking, Tyler? It's alright actually. Show them your hat, Tyler. Okay. I don't know. There you go, look at Tyler's lovely hat. There we go, look. Well, that's like a magic trick. <laughs> I, well, don't, they... I don't know what they could see. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, right, so that should just go on. <laughs> I love it when we flap it, it's so professional. Yeah, it. A bit of flappage. Right. There we go. Right then. So there we go, there Sweet is nice. a fuel filler cap in red. Easier to find in the dark. Matches our fuel cans. It does actually. Oh, ectoplasm. ectoplasm containers. Right, right, right. We've got the toilet. Come on. Uh, Come on. Be quick. We've got to do. Um, right, wood kits. Wood kits and wash stands. Oh, yeah. Right then. Let's go that. Everyone dizzy now. So this is what Zach's been working on. So this is the watch stand. Again, we'll do a proper video on this. But when you get your watch, your activity key, which is a you can unlock and lock your car and drive your car with this. We like it. Uh, it comes with a little USB charger block, but it, it, the wire comes out the back of it, so you can't put the charger block down and put the watch on it. You have to put your watch down and put the charger on it. And I was worried about scratching my watch face and it generally looking rubbish upside down. It's a weird charger as well. It is, but it's quite cool though, because it's sort of magnetic. It goes and it's got these little charging pins. So we, we, Zach and I, we have designed this, this stand. And it goes up like that, and it gets a USB, it's got a little cable tidy at the back, and then you can plug that USB cable there in your thing. So that will be coming out soon. It should be out in time for Christmas, I reckon. Money plate for your desk. A money plate for your desk, I like that. So there we go, that's that. Right, wood kits. Wood. So we have been designing wood kits. So we have got this. So if you watch in the other vlog, you see that we joined it and we talked about having a jigsaw puzzle join. We've come up with a dovetail joint. It felt more woodworkery. So we went with that and that joins behind the nav screen. And some people said, Simon, I want the Defender word, but I can't go engraving Defender on here. I'll upset my good friends at Land Rover. And I'm not in the habit of upsetting my friends at Land Rover because they no. look after us. So. Um, what I've done is I've cut a hole out and that takes the first edition badge. And I'll flash a little picture up of that because I think Ben's put them on the website. So these are on the website already. The one we're still working on is this one here. Can you get the, the light on that one, Tyler, in yeah, such a way that it reflects? That's now, really good. Th there's, there's a little, Ben who's designed this has had a little game. Have you seen this yet, Tyler? Okay. Have you seen the ghosts? No. So he's tried to put some little oh. features from Ooh. our YouTube. Can you see the ghosts now? Yeah. 
he sort of incorporated them into the flower. And there's a pair of glasses in there. I don't know what that's referenced to. And there's a sheep. <laughs> there's two sheep in there as well. But there we go. So that is for the back of the new Defender. So that's our new range of wood dash kits, which is designed to match the original walnut wood as close as we can get. But this is real walnut wood veneers we've got here. <laughs> Um, so we're still working on that. So but, it's even better. But they are for sale on the website now. There's a bit of QVC. Right, what else have we got to cover, Tyler? What else have we got in our pile of rubbish that we've got to do? Well, we've got this to do. We've got this to do. I don't think so, it's on the list. We put the charging circuit where I tapped into the tow bar loom and took a feed off through a split charge relay to charge a small leisure battery for USB charging when we're camping. And some people have suggested we should use a DC to DC converter. So we have bought a DC to DC converter and we've got to try and compare the efficiencies of that to a split charge relay. So I do listen to what people say. And there's another sort of order, a charging regulator I was going to play with. We, we're going to do a video on the new Defender on updating the maps. So if you were going to travel to Europe, not that many of us are traveling wet, um, you can very far at the moment you can download the maps from Land Rover for European the maps for your country you reside in automatically update as you are driving it's just for a foreign area so if I was to drive to France it would download in France as I was there but if I want the current maps while I'm there you can download them so we're going to do a video on that but it's not all about new defenders, is it, Tyler? No. No, because we have got lots of customers. It's also but... about shoplifting. <laughs> it's also, yeah, shoplifting. That's the last bit of the video. <laughs> Fun Friday. Yes. Um, Disco 4, our Disco 4, we are going to, I have bought from China. A lot of people have been asking me, these new Android Tesla style screens that they see for sale everywhere. Are they any good? Can you install one, Simon? Well, the answer is I don't know, but we'll have a go. So I have bought a big screen. I'll put the pictures on the screen now. We bought a big screen and a small screen, Android 10 unit, and we will do a video installing both of them, one at a time, obviously, and comparing them and having a look whether they work, whether they're worth doing, whether the menus make any sense. One of them actually replaces your heater screen, and you can do all touch heating configuration stuff so that'll be cool so disco three and four boys we do and girls we still love you keep watching for that all right we were gonna have a go at this man have i covered all the land rover stuff well, let's go to let's our list all right the tag we have done we oh Why tesla can't... we have got to Tes do some more tesla stuff next it's week all... there's some tesla stuff it's and all... a sheep at the back of the workshop over there disco four headers alloy petrol cap dash cam we're doing and oh defender table so we have had a really good response to our Defender rear door table fitting kit and we have now decided to design our own UK manufactured table which we will have the prototypes of next week hopefully. Um, so Julian's working on that so that'll be good and we're going to put some cup holders in it, we're going to put some molly plate straps in there, we're going to make it way better than the standard Amazon table. Sorry if you've gone out and bought an Amazon table but that's all good. Right. So, young George, you all know young George. He, we ordered some clothes from a shop called Pull and Bear online. So we did an online order and he got a jumper and it had one of these attached to it. I can understand why they put these in the shops because you get those little scropes that go in and steal stuff, which we don't condone. And, but in their own warehouse, they've got tags on stuff because it was mail ordered. So um, anyway, it's just a pain to go to the shop and send it back. So I just, ground the back off but apparently you can put a a little thing in here and it'll go Ooh! but th there's all sorts of stories about there being paint and weird stuff in here so me and tyler thought for a friday we'll we'll see if we can open this and see how it works because we in, we get inquisitive what right let's have a look shall we tyler who's going to get paint on themselves oh, it might be invisible paint might be invisible oh you reckon it'll be some sort like of ultraviolet ultraviolet if we have a look or it might not be that fancy. What do you reckon? I reckon I'll, I reckon I'll just tap it open. Right, let me go and get some tools. Oh, I just thought I'd show you this. So this is an IKEA clip system and you can get loads of accessories like this that clip onto it. And I was thinking of incorporating this into our table design. 
so that if you wanted, you could clip those bits on. But there you go. People look around in the workshop. There's another project we've got to do, Tyler. That's every the, square inch is a project. The tool roof clamp for the tool roof box. A couple of you have asked me to look at that. All right, here we go. Hmm. What is inside one of these? Am I going to get injected with ink? Nah. Oh. What is inside it? Should I have gloves on? I think it's just got an RFID tag in it. Be alright. I can see the RFID tag. It's gone. We're still yeah, recording? It's... Yeah. Oh. Mm. Everyone's on the edge of their seat. Uh, They're waiting for us to look like right fools. Fools, yeah. It's just that front bit there. I need to, I need to open that front bit up a bit more. Ah, right. Okay, right, let's... We've got, we've got, we've got an RFID tag there, and we've got, oh, does that, that sort of, my psychic powers move that time, I didn't see that. So I think it's supposed to go, right, let's have a look on the table. Right, we have taken it apart, you can see it here. So, so what you've got on this tag is you've got the main body of the tag here, right? And then what you've got is you've got this pin with a big, like, Mexican hat on the end, okay? Now what I did was I ground off this pin, so it just left this, this pin here. And what you do is you put that pin into here, and there's a mechanism in here, and we'll look at it in a second. And there's actually barbs on this pin here, like so. Does that work, Tyler? Is it yeah. not very good? We've got it's it. a bit of glare on, on the light. Right, but yeah. It's right. Uh, so, so as you push it in, what it is, is this, this mechanism holds it. And I'll show you how it works. So this is what's left of my barbed pin here. Okay, and that comes through this hole. We've got, a, we don't know what this do not touch bit is here. So that goes through that hole there, and that comes up into here. And what you've got is you've got this little metal piece here that sits on that pivot point there. And I'm just gonna use an Allen key to emulate the pivot point, right there. And as the pin comes up, it's held by these little mouth here the pin is held by it i don't know if i can control it and put it all together but when you come in to release it i'm looking for something to, to you come in with a, a tool that comes up the side and it pushes on this front bit here and it pushes that and releases the the barb bit and it's sprung back by that little spring there and that spring just springs it back on so let me see if i can i don't know if i'll be able to do this but the pin comes through yeah. Right, so you can see now I've got the pin there, and that pin is held, and there's no way you're pulling that pin out. And then when you put a tool in, it comes up and it releases, it swings that out the way, releases the pin, so you can remove the tag. So the people that are saying you put something up through here, they are right. But the thing Tyler now wants to know is what is this bit that says do not touch here? Now, is this an ink capsule? What is this bit here, Tyler? I'd like it to be. Tyler would like it to be an ink capsule. Mm -hmm. oh, Tyler's got his gloves on. Do you want to do this bit, Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. He, he volunteered. He, he wants to know. Right. Teeth. Yeah, those lights do glare off that. <laughs> right, I'm on you. I'm on you there, Tyler. I'm running anyone. Right, what is? I'm upset myself. Do you have eye protection on or something? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not filming. Yeah, go on then. Oh no. No. Sticky. It's sticky. Is it just like another RFID something or other? There's no, oh, there's no ink. Is that just a sticky pad? It's the sticky pad. Where's the ink? It's don't touch. It's just like a metal strip, isn't it? It's just a metal strip. Yeah. Don't touch metal strip. Probably like a magnetic or something, yeah. There we go. So there is no ink in one of those tags. Um, it's got an RFID tag. Fairly tedious. Right, that's the end. Right, we're going <laughs> to get on and...
We're going to get on and paint the floor. Have a good weekend.